Sometimes Christopher takes like the squeaky clean and sprays it on his arm like a cologne. <laughs> and honestly, it smells so good. Hey friends, it's Simon Hurley and welcome to another video. Today's video, I'm gonna share all about stamp cleaning and some of my favorite methods for cleaning off your stamps and taking care of them really nicely. Because I know sometimes they become a little bit unsticky and sometimes they get covered in black ink. And so today I wanted to kind of share a couple different methods, whether you want to really clean them or you have some stubborn inks, hopefully this helps you out. So let's turn down the midwork surface and get started. All right, so the first thing I wanted to share is from one of my most recent videos. It was in my Misty stamping tool, and I used some Simon Hurley Create dye inks to stamp with my image here. So it's not too dirty, and I don't want to use a super harsh cleaner on it, because sometimes that can harm your stamps as well. So here I'm going to use some squeaky clean stamp cleaner, and I actually have this in a squeaky clean dispenser, and I've kind of fallen in love with this thing, and I'll tell you why here. It's a really easy dispenser that you can put your stamp cleaner in, and you could really fill it with any stamp cleaner, but inside of it is the squeaky clean, and um, you just pump it a few times on the top, and the liquid kind of comes into here, and fills that up, and then you can clean it off and so I always use a rag to clean off my stamps and so this is super nice because instead of spraying in my rag and getting it all over I just have to press a few times a lot gets on my rag here and then I can go in and clean off my stamp and so this stamp cleaner is super nice I find it cleans my inks off well usually with my inks um, they can clean off with just a little bit of water um, but this also kind of helps too and if you have any inks that need a little bit more than water This will definitely help you out. So I've cleaned that off I like to use it to clean off my misty too because you don't want to use really any harsh um, Cleaners on this lid or anything like that So once that's all clean you can see it's nice and clear again and we can go back to stamping on it Which is really nice um, another upside to it is it has a really nice smell to it it smells like rose water, which is a really pleasant scent, and also it's kind of all natural, so it's not going to harm your hands or anything like that if you get it on there, which is really nice. Another thing that's really nice is Christopher also sometimes does the squeaky clean in different scents, which is kind of fun. So if you're looking for some different kind of smelling stamp cleaners that you want to spice up your craft room with, he does some limited edition scents sometimes. I think this one came in a pack of four, and these are some kind of like summer themed scents, which is super fun. I have to say, Blue Slush is definitely my favorite, but these smell super sweet and kind of give a different smell to your craft room. But again, it's the same stamp cleaner that's kind of all natural, which is really nice. Sometimes Christopher takes like the squeaky clean and sprays it on his arm like a cologne. <laughs> and honestly, it smells so good. Now let's get into something, if I have something a little bit more harsh that I want to clean up. So here on my Misty, I have some archival ink that I haven't cleaned. And for this, I like to use the Archival Ink Cleaner. This is really nice because it's definitely going to take off your more harsh inks. Archival is a really, really strong permanent ink. And so for this, I like to use the cleaner that's meant for it just because I know it's gonna get it off. It gets it off really nice and easily as well without having to scrub a ton. So I'll just leave it on there for a second to kind of soak in and then wipe it off and it cleans that off really, really nicely. So I like to use Archival Ink Cleaner for the Archival Ink. Um, because I use archival a lot and it cleans it off really nicely as well. Now I have kind of a stain stamp here. I used archival on this the other day in my video and didn't clean it off. And so there's a couple ways you can go about this. Again, you can take the dauber if you want to and go in here with it like this. I like to leave it on there for a couple seconds too before I go in and wipe it off so that it kind of can react with that ink and help clean it off. So I'll go in here and you can see I'm cleaning that off. It definitely became a little bit lighter and definitely some cleaner. It's still going to stain because I've left the Jet Black Archival on there for a long time, and that's the nature of some really strong inks, but it did clean it off nicely. Now another thing you can go in and use is a, uh, this one's called a Rub It Scrub It from Ranger. I actually really like this one. I use it to clean my stencils and things like that too, because it's got kind of a rough kind of spongy surface on the top, which is really nice and it's got this hard foam base too. So basically you can go in here and spray your stamp cleaner on it. Whether you want to use like a squeaky clean stamp cleaner, um, you can spray some of that on here, 
or you can go in and use your archival ink too. I wouldn't recommend transferring this to a spray bottle or anything like that. It's in a dauber for a reason, and usually it's because the chemicals shouldn't be airborne. So if I want to get any of this onto the rubber scrub it, I'll just kind of squeeze it just a little bit kind of gently and pounce it onto the surface, and you can see that some of that stamp cleaner is becoming to go on there as well. So you could definitely transfer some stamp cleaner onto here. And I like going in on this one because it'll give your stamp a little bit of a better clean than maybe you would have with a rag because it's a little bit more of a kind of harsh surface. So it's going to help kind of get into the nooks and crannies of those stamps and help clean that out. And so once I'm done with that, I'll go in and just kind of dry it off. So here you can definitely see it got more clear and clean. So that cleaned off a lot of the Jet Black Archival. I think the rest of it's just stains that I'm not going to be really able to get off. But that's a really good way to care for your clear stamps, especially after a couple days of not cleaning them. This gives it a really nice deep clean with the Rub It Scrub It pad. And the nice part about this that I like too is that it doesn't have a lid. So I just set this off onto the side of my desk and then it's able to air dry and not get moldy or anything like that. So not closing it off is actually kind of a good thing. Now let me show you guys with a really dirty stamp. This one's really big. I use these encouraging word stamps a lot but haven't cleaned this one. So I put some more Jet Black Archival Cleaner on here and also some of the Squeaky Clean and I'm just going to go in here, rub it in there, make sure that it gets into all the nooks and crannies of the stamp to clean it out. And look how clean that's getting already. You can actually see through the stamp now. And I haven't cleaned this one in a long time. So these stamp cleaners and this tool to kind of help you loosen up some of that ink in there is really helpful. So once I'm done with that, I'll go in here with my dirty rag and just kind of wipe this off. And wow, okay, so look at that. It already cleaned that a ton. You can see a huge difference with that. It's now see-through again. It's definitely still stained a little bit, but that Jet Black Archival is going to stain your stamps kind of no matter what. But at least I got most of the ink off, and it's going to be great for the next time I want to go in and stamp it down. So if the back of your stamp ever stops becoming really sticky and starts kind of falling off your acrylic block or stamp packaging, it can be because sometimes the dust and debris on the back of your stamp is keeping it from being sticky and sticking down to your acrylic block. And you can definitely fix this. It's pretty easy to do. So the good part is all you have to do is go in with a little bit of water. I spray it on the back of my stamp, but you could kind of soak it into a bin or go by your sink as well. But I find this is the easiest thing if you just have a few that aren't sticking and you're just sitting in your craft room. So I'll wipe that all over the surface of your stamp and you can definitely feel all the dust and debris and particles kind of coming loose when you're doing this. And then I would usually say to kind of let it air dry, or you can take kind of a lint-free cloth. This one happens to be a microfiber cloth, just something that's not gonna deposit any of the fibers back onto your stamp. You want it to stay nice and clean. And clean that off, and then it becomes super duper sticky again. So then you're able to take it with your acrylic block, and then it's not gonna really come loose on your acrylic block anymore or in the packaging. So that's a good way to kind of re-maintain the stick on the back of your stamp and get it back to life. All right, to sum things up, I use the archival ink cleaner if I'm going to clean off any archival ink or any ink that's a little bit more stubborn. This is going to do a great job at cleaning that off. And then I use the squeaky clean, and I also love this cleaning dispenser too. I love that you can put any different cleaner, water, or anything in it from any company. Um, but I like this squeaky clean because it smells really nice, but also it's not harsh on your hands or anything, but it does a great job at cleaning anything off. So if it's not as harsh as archival, it'll do a great job at picking that off of your stamp and cleaning things really nicely. And then I like the Rub It Scrub It pad to put stamp cleaners on top of here and rub it. It's a nice surface to get into all the little grooves of your stamp if you want a deeper clean, but also just does a great job at not getting rid of little fuzzies on your stamp. It's a great surface to clean things off on. And I use this for stencils and stuff too. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I clean my stamps and I hope it's helpful to you guys as well. Be sure to leave me comments down below on what you use to clean your stamps. I would love to hear all your thoughts and ideas down there. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you never miss another time I post a card making and crafting video. All right guys, I'll see you soon. Have a great day, bye.